Good morning, grade two. How are you today? I hope you're good, yeah. Um, are you missing school? Yeah, me too. Anyway, today's lesson is about how to write a story. So, today you will have a writing lesson, how to write a story. Now, every story must have some parts. What are the parts that every story must have? Every story must have beginning, middle and end. What are the parts of the story? Beginning, middle and end. Now, in the, in the beginning, beginning we call it also introduction, you have to introduce to the story the characters that are acting in your story and the setting where the characters are. So, one more time, every story must have three parts. Beginning, middle, and end. Beginning is introduction to the story. In this introduction, you have to introduce the characters of the story and the setting of the story. The second part is the middle part of the story. In the middle part of the story, something happens. The characters have some kind of a problem and they will take some steps to solve the problem. So, in the middle, the middle part of the story is actually the longest part of the story, and it tells something that happens to the characters. Character or characters do something, or something happens to them, and they will fix it. And the end of the story is like a conclusion, the ending sentence of the story. After the characters learn some kind of a lesson, you have to end it up with a conclusion. Now I will show you how, but one more time, let's revise what that story is uh, divided into. It has three parts. It has beginning, middle, and end. In the beginning of the story, you will introduce the characters and the setting to the readers. In the middle of the story, you will tell what happened to the character. Something happened to the character, and character solved this kind of a problem. And at the end, you will write the conclusion or ending sentence. I'm going to show you examples on two stories, and then we will think of the story on our own. So... Uh, we will write a story about this picture. Sometimes it is good to have some kind of a picture or brainstorm some ideas before you start writing because you should have an idea what you write, what you what do you want to write about, okay? When you're writing story, story is usually made up. Story is usually uh, made up, uh, has made up characters and made up setting and it can happen in the real life. So what you're doing, you're writing a story which is called narrative. You're telling a story. Uh, so before you start reading the story, writing the story, you should brainstorm some ideas. What can you write about? And sometimes if you don't have any ideas, you can get some pictures from the magazine or from the book and you can, you can think of the story for that picture. You can think also about the time when you had some problem and how you solved it. So you can write a story where, about you, but you are not going to be the character. The character must be made up. So you will give the characters your own name, the different name, not you, and you can write the story from your own experience. So when you're thinking of a, writing a story, you have to brainstorm the ideas first. You need to think of some story and some problem that can happen in the story. It could be story about someone who got lost in the supermarket. It can be a story about uh, how your puppy ran away and how you searched for it. It could be a story about a boy who caught a frog and what did he do with the frog. It could be a story about a girl who was uh, studying very hard for 
acting role in the uh, in the school and she won the role in the um, in the school or it could be story about someone actually you have to think about it so you have to come up with the ideas there are many stories you can also make up a story that has the animal characters and uh, uh, you can write about what happened to them it could be um, for example a story about three little bears and how they found a beehive full of honey and they wanted to eat the honey but the bees stung them so they didn't get the honey you can think on your own you have to have amazing imagination so what we're going to do now is write a story about this picture look at the picture it's about the boy let's start with the beginning this is what I thought of the beginning uh, one day Tom was playing by the pond the first sentence introduces the character of the story the story is about the boy called Tom and also introduces the setting where is the story happening it's all in one sentence one day Tom was playing by the pond can you see that that is the beginning he was trying to catch a butterfly in his net. This is introducing what is going on in the story. So this is the beginning, introducing the character, Tom, and the setting, and what was he doing by the pond. One more time, one day Tom was playing by the pond. He was trying to catch a butterfly in his net. That's my beginning. Now, I'm going to the middle part. Remember, the middle part is the longest one because there something happens. So, that's my middle part. Suddenly, the butterfly flew over the pond and Tom didn't watch where was he stepping. He fell right into the pond. He was completely wet. He climbed up of the pond and ran home. So this is a problem. See, as Tom was chasing the butterfly and butterfly flew over the pond, Tom forgot to watch his steps and he fell into the pond and he got completely wet. What did he do? He didn't cry. He didn't shout. He didn't get mad. He climbed up of the pond and ran home. That's how he solved it. There is a problem that something happened to Tom and how he solved it. He fell into the pond but he climbed out of the pond and ran home. Now we have the ending of the story. That day Tom decided not to chase the butterflies anymore because he learned the lesson. When you when you're chasing the butterflies with the net, you have to watch up where they fly, right? And when you watch up, you cannot watch your steps. So, see the last sentence of my story? He will try to catch some frogs instead. Because frogs, they don't fly up in the air, but they are down on the ground. You see, I finished my story that Tom decided he will not catch not try to chase the butterflies. Instead, he decided that he will go and catch some frogs. And that's the end of the story. Here is my story from the top, from the beginning until the end. I have to give my story the title. The story is about the boy and how he chased the butterfly. So I gave the title, A Boy and a Butterfly. One day, Tom was playing by the pond. He was trying to catch a butterfly in his net. That is my beginning. Suddenly, the butterfly flew over the pond and Tom didn't watch where was he stepping. He fell right into the pond. He was completely wet. He climbed up of the pond and ran home. That day, Tom decided not to chase the butterflies anymore. He will try to catch some frogs instead. And that's the end of the story. The beginning, the middle, and the end. 
And now let's try to write a story about this picture. Hmm, what could this story be about? My beginning is, one day Molly and Ben had to stay at home alone. I introduced the characters, Molly and Ben. I introduced the setting, home. All in one sentence. That's the beginning. Introduce the character or characters and introduce the setting. One day, Molly and Ben had to stay at home alone. Now the middle, some kind of a problem happened. Molly played with her teddy bear while Ben watched the TV. Molly was really loud and Ben got mad. He wanted to take her teddy bear away. Then mom came home and stopped the fight. You see, what I wrote here, I explained the situation that Molly was playing with her teddy bear and Ben was watching TV. But Molly was, was really loud and ben, and ben, he got mad. So he wanted to take her teddy bear away. See, this is all the fight. And that is the problem of the story. He wanted to take the teddy bear away. Now, how was the problem solved? Easy peasy. Mom came home and she stopped the fight. See, I introduced the, uh, the problem and I showed you how the problem was stopped. How the problem was solved. So, Molly played with the teddy bear and Benny watch, sorry, Ben watched television, but Molly was too loud, so Ben got mad and he wanted to take her teddy bear. And how was the problem solved? Mom came home and stopped the fight. And what about the ending? The children learned a lesson from the story, so I will have to end it up this way. Both of them were punished. They played in their own rooms alone for the rest of the day. This is the ending of the story or conclusion. What happened to the kids after the problem was solved? So, let's give my story a title. Molly and Ben's Fight. Molly and Ben's Fight. One day Molly and Ben had to stay at home alone. That's my introduction. Introducing the characters and introducing the setting home. Molly played with her teddy bear while Ben watched the TV. Molly was really loud and Ben got mad. He wanted to take her teddy bear away. Then mom came home and stopped the fight. So in the middle part, which is the middle of the story, I told the readers that the children had some, some kind of a problem. Because Molly was too loud, Ben he got mad and he wanted to take her teddy bear. But how was the problem solved? Mom came home and stopped the fight. And what's the conclusion? What happened to the kids afterwards? Both of them were punished. They played in their own rooms alone for the rest of the day. And that's the end of the story. One more? Okay then. But now we have a picture and no writing from me. We are going to think of some good ideas. So, at the beginning of the story, this is our picture. You have to think of the character's name. You need to think of the name for this little girl, because that's a girl. And you need to think of the setting. Where is she? So, let's say that our girl will be called um, Lily. And where is she? She is, let's say, in the park. Okay? So, your sentence will be, One day, Lily went to the park to fly her kite. And you have the sentence. Can you see? So, one more time. You need the name for your character. And you need a setting. And when you explain the setting and character, tell them what are they doing in there. So, one day, Lily went to the park to fly her kite. And that's it. The beginning is done. Then you have to think of the middle part of the story. 
In the middle, you have to think of some kind of a problem. What could possibly happen when you're flying a kite? What could possibly happen? Hmm. Think about it. Well, I think that it is pretty windy on the picture, right? So, I think that Lily's kite flew away. What do you think? I think so. So, in the middle, we can tell the part. Uh, we already said the first sentence that Lily went to park to play with her kite. Suddenly, the weather became really windy. The kite flew higher and higher up to the sky. Lily tried to hold the string tightly, but she could not. It was too heavy, so she let the string go, and her kite flew away. Lily was really sad. Now what? Her kite flew away because it was too windy. And she could not hold on to the string. She just let it go. Now what? How she will solve her problem? Hmm. Think about it. What could she do to solve the problem? Do you think that she could find a kite? Do you think that she can search for it and maybe find it somewhere? Maybe. That could be one choice. Or... She can go home crying and her mom will promise her that she will buy her new kite. But it's okay. What do you think? You, can, you have to find a solution to the problem. So I will go for the first one. The, the one that Lily searched for her kite. So, the kite flew away, remember? Lily was really sad. She started to walk home. And as she walked home, what did she see on the nearest tree? Her kite. It was stuck on the tree. That's the end. That's the middle. Finished. She found it. So we go to the end. What happened at the end? Lily learned a lesson. She will not fly a kite on very windy day or she will not go to fly a kite alone, right? So, we will write it in the end. The next day, when Lily went to fly her kite, she asked her dad to come with her. And that's it. We found the ending of the story. She found a solution. The next time, when Lily goes and fly her kite, she will take her dad with her. So, and we have the story. Can you see? It's not that difficult. So, now it's your turn. What is your homework? Now, you have to think of a story about someone or and uh, describe what happened to that person. You can make up your own character. You can make up your own setting. You can use all the pictures from the internet or from anywhere you find. And you can glue it on the paper, A4 paper, and write the story on the paper. Now, you can take your time. You don't have to rush. You don't have to do it today because writing a story is a long process. You have to think about it. You have to take lots of time. So, you don't have to complete the writing today, you can complete it to tomorrow or over the weekend. When you are done, you can send it to me for checking and I will enjoy the reading of your stories. Try your best, use your imagination and use your simple words. Your story does, need, does, does not need to be complicated, just make the story nice and easy, okay? Try your best. This is really hard work. You need to use your imagination. So, get to writing. Start, start writing. Start thinking of the of uh, what we, we story will be about and then uh, write your story and send it to me. 
That's it. Thank you so much and take care of yourself. Bye-bye now.